Hey guys, I have movies here, and welcome back. Let's play Lunar 2 Eternal Boot Complete. In the last episode, we finished up the blue tower, picked up Gene, and then made our way over to the red tower, which we finished up climbing, and finally picked up Ronfar. And then now, um, actually on the way back down, we met up with Leo, who is now Leo again, not Mister, and he has now joined our party. So what I want to do first, um, Leo's on top of Ronfar. We can't really have that because it's kind of painty. We'll just put Ron, we'll put Leo right there in the middle, which will work out perfectly. There you go. Now let's go back and actually work our way back down to the, well, back to the bottom of where all the passages connect, because Leo mentioned that there is a secret passage nearby that we can use to find the secret shrine to Althena and Lucia and all that fun, happy stuff. So let us go. My God, that was a mouthful. And one more battle here, because I actually avoided this guy in the last episode. So, oh well, same stuff though. Um, a cross boomerang on you. Um, Ron Far. Um, uh, probably because I need healing. Um, Dream Dance, I'm um, not really going to do any good. Uh, what is the butterf Butterfly Dance for extra damage? And also, I didn't actually know so just now, yeah, Ron Far picked up a level in his time in prison, so... Yay for that. Gypsy magic! And yeah, this is pretty much be, well, one of our last battles. I think actually end up fighting one more on the way back down the tower. But actually, we're pretty much done this part, so... Don't finally, fish. this part's been a rather long part, but... You know, it's been fine, I can, I can live with it. Ow. More owl. And um Yep. Happy hour. Just on the battle display, I'm just enjoying the awesome random battle music. It's one of the nice things about this game, just the music in general, like fighting random battles. The music's so nice and catchy that you actually want to fight random battles. And I love how a lot of RPGs tend to do that. I mean if you find a lot of a lot of random battles in a game, then the battle music better be catchy. So it also gets very, very monotonous. So I do like yeah, I, I do like the, like that. And pretty much speaking of music, pretty much all those games music I just absolutely love. So thank God for that. So, yeah, music is obviously a very crucial part in well, pretty much any game in general, really. So so yep, yeah, it's good for that. Okay, anyway, and the tower is actually fully cleared out now. So let's just run back, run our way back down here, and dump um, get the hell out of here. It's actually a lot easier than I remember it being. Just because, well, it's point, it's, yeah, it's, it's point elemental weaknesses and whatnot, and yeah, just you know what the hell to do, so. Makes battles a lot easier when you actually know what the, what the hell you're doing. Passage should be hidden behind a statue in this area. Alright then, well, there's only one statue down here, so I wonder what it could possibly be. Let's see, uh, pretty much our last battle here, um, let's just go post sword on you. Um, da, 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 still light litany on you just for the hell of it. Um, physical attack on you. Uh, flame shots. Whoops. Flame shot on the Flash Lord. Not that one. No, no, no. Flame shot on that one. There you go. And then Flash Blade on you. Okay, now that we're done with this part, yeah, no need to save MP for anything. There's no boss here, by the way, also, so. No need to, uh, blah, blah, no, need to, no need to worry about it. I save this for you, infidel. And now he's back to his usual um, s sayings in battle as Leo. I pr much prefer you need a spanking or a um, fan of justice and whatnot. That's just me. So much more fun and lighthearted that way. Oh well. And this should take care of you. And we are pretty much done with random battles. Ooh, holy water. Yay. Nice little bonus before we went the part, so yay for that. Uh, let me see. Yep, no more enemies here, so... Hey, a statue! I wonder what's behind it. Actually, what you can do here, before you actually talk to the statue, you still need to heal, just go up to the side of it and just press that, but go to the front of it, and you actually find a secret passage! Now, once you do this, you can't actually heal anymore, I'm pretty sure, so, yeah. But again, it doesn't really matter, I just heal because I felt like it. But yeah, let's go through the secret passage and see what lies ahead. Oh, creepy music. But your sick plan can never succeed. No matter how hard you try, you can never stop me from finding Althena and halting so far's return. <laughs> Why, Lucia, you're delirious. Althena herself stands before you. Don't you recognize me, darling? I recognize only the face of evil. You are not Althena. You are nothing more than a human puppet dancing for the amusement of so far. Yeah, it wouldn't be quiet right there. She'd have to hear that cutscene without my horrible voice ruining it. Or ruining it. Yeah, Lucia apparently seems to know more than we do, and she hasn't really told us everything yet. 
but unfortunately to save her, we had to cut through Galleon and the actual goddess herself. So, yeah. Yeah, can't imagine the real Althea we actually want to talk about eternal beauty and all that. Then this little waif? What? Like, what are you, high? I, I don't know. I don't even know what that word means. I can look it up later. Or if you guys know what it is, then let me know. Whatever. No big deal. Oh. What do you mean the true objective of the Chosen? Diva? Oh, um, okay. That was weird. Anyway. Wow. Okay, yeah, she's definitely not the real thing, though. Of course, she pretty much... she isn't, so... Not very much of a spoiler or anything. I mean, it's really not. And yeah, how do we get down there? There's a door down there, but how do we get there? Alright then, let's go. Oh, yeah, Dalian's still down there, by the way, so... um, yeah. Anyway, it's still right up through here. Through our nice bedroom, um... Flowers, a very round bed, a uh, couple books... Oh! Seek, then make an appeal. Turn your ears inward and listen to the voice of your soul. Hear the secret wish of your heart. Dedicate yourself without reserve for love of self. That is your wish, that is my wish. Follow that way and find your true form. Now, I actually never really knew about that. I didn't know if you could actually, like, look at that look at the books on the table, so that's actually a cool little story there. So, so actually, I didn't know about this game, which is actually pretty crazy. And let's see, anything over here? Nope, a bunch of crazy cultists. Okay. Uh, did we crash into the Black Sabbath fan club meeting? I'm pretty sure we did. I mean, he did once in his auto, and I just now... Yeah, yeah, we're at Black Sabbath meeting. That's just great. Um, okay, we're just gonna leave you guys alone and, uh, let you be nude. No, oh, um, no, that's just a family that reference. And now, we have made it down here. Don't and I'll be quiet again. Don't you realize Zophar's only ambition is to take revenge on Althena? He brought me back from the netherworld knowing that I too had a score to settle with her, and would sell my eternal soul for a chance to take revenge on the world that ruined me. But how can he hope to s <laughs> Because he has a secret weapon. The true purpose of Althena's cult is to aid Zophar in his return to power. And once he is restored, my revenge will be complete. I won't let you do that! Mm, big words from such a small lady. The real Althena must be imprisoned somewhere within Pentagolia. I will find her and destroy Zophar once and for all. You are delirious. Your power has been drained. Face it, you've already lost. But Galleon... You forget. Humans have an undeniable power, too. <laughs> you mean to say that you're counting on the power of humans to save Althena and fuel your offense against so far? That plan is even more pathetic than I had hoped. You might as well kiss your precious blue star goodbye right now, Lucia. Do not underestimate humanity's power. So tell me, what will become of this world, once you've used the humans and cast them aside? <gasps> they'll... they'll be... Bum bum bum! <laughs> oh, they're still talking. My Don't bad. worry. I doubt that your precious hero will be able to save you now. So the question is, shall we say, moot? And even if he did, you don't stand a chance of unlocking Pentagulia's secrets. So long, sweet pea. <laughs> Is there any villain out there more badass than Galleon? Hardly, Hero in my opinion. Will come. I will escape Galleon. <laughs> she said, "Come." <laughs> no, no. Still talking. <laughs> a tool of deception? I cannot believe it to be so. If the true objective of the Chosen is to revive Zophar, I am fighting for evil. I cannot believe such a thing to be true. I must find the goddess Alfina and address her directly. Wait, Leo, no! I that really worked wrong part, this is great. So, big ol' reveal, the Chosen is actually evil. 
and their master plan, Dalian and Zophar pretty much team up to destroy the Fatal Fiend because she's only there to serve as a vessel to bring Zophar back. Once she takes care of that, she'll be out of the picture, and then Dalian and Zophar will have their own little merry way. And now this getting to the point involving Leo where he starts to question his, uh, where his loyalty truly lies, with the Chosen or with himself. So... But yeah, we'll delve also, yeah, we'll delve more into that subject later. But thankfully, Lucia's okay. And yeah, I referred to that already. She's not the real goddess. But how does she even know where it is? Oh, wait, can you just go to, like, wait, where are you going? If we can go together, or we can just follow you. Um, okay. Huh, well, that works. And, um, yeah, so, let's chase after her. And thankfully, yeah, this part isn't on that bit, so she's not really easy to get lost in. And whoops, did not mean to do that. And yeah, it would. I, I done messed up with this part. Time to go upstairs first, and then go over here. Now you, you can actually come up from either staircase, either the one on the left or to the right, and the same thing will happen. So, just wanted to mention that real quick. Just, that doesn't really matter. I just wanted to throw that out there real quick. And see so the. Oh yeah, you did mention about that, but. Yeah, there's only four towers. And how does she know where the fifth one is? She is definitely a lot more knowledgeable than we thought she is. And she, well, yeah, she knows more about what's going on here than we do, so. And yeah, we were out here earlier, but there's nothing here. Oh, bright light, bright light. So, if she came all the way out here, then there must be something out here, isn't there? But how? It's just the lake. Well, it looks like a lake anyway. Yeah. But, uh, okay. We'll take your word for it, but how do you get there? I'm pretty much just going along with this. I mean, she knows what she's doing. We don't, so. And, um, what are you doing? Now she's suicidal. That's just great. Yeah. I, uh, I'm with Ruby on this one. She has gone nuts. Well, well, we don't jump down anyway, so just go down here, press X, and commit suicide. And game over. Well, at least for Ruby, she can actually fly down, and <laughs> I don't mean to close her eye and jumps. But yeah, I wish we could fly, just we wouldn't have our imminent crash landing in 3, 2, 1. Now. Wait for it. Now. There it is. Ow. She's here almost landing on this on the on the railing right there, too, like snap the spine or whatever. And this is the fifth the fifth power of Tentagulia. That's you know, the fifth tower of Pentagulia. And apparently the real Athena is somewhere inside. Now I love like the background right here too. I just had to see that the the background of the tower is actually really, really freaky looking. That's awesome. Oh, this is an illusion. Oh, okay, well that makes sense. And let's say we're going and find the real goddess Athena next time on Let's Play Lunar 2 Eternal Boot Complete. This has been Iron Movie Sign Off, guys. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.